guys, today we are in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we are standing in front of the Taste of Italy. This is a place that's been recommended to us many times. We've just never made it. Well, we're finally here, so we're gonna go in there and order a couple dinner items. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. How to find the Taste of Italy. I'm gonna make it real simple for you. There is Food City. It's in the Stone Ridge Center. This little plaza right here. Right across the street, kinda, from Mama's Chicken Kitchen. Right over there that we highly recommend. The Fire Department and the Gatlinburg City Hall, right out here on 321. There's your phone number. Off the main room, they have this extra room that they do for like wedding receptions or big parties. There's a bar in here. Look at this, look at this nice bar. There's nobody back here tonight. There's no bar seating tonight. But there is the bar. Nice big TV over top of it. Look at these lights. The lighting it's very dim in here so it's a nice place for a meal not a great place to vlog let's look at the desserts in here let me just open it up and take a look at it inside look at all that look at that rainbow cake tiramisu and new york style cheesecake all right guys let's look at the menu Best kept secret in Gatlinburg. Starting off with the appetizers. Have some mozzarella sticks and chicken wings, fried mushrooms, chicken tender and french fries, sampler platter, and meatball parmesan. Here are your salads. Serve with garlic knots and your choice of dressing. Here are the picks. Anti-pasta salad, Caesar salad. Philly cheesesteak and a salmon salad. Sandwiches and wraps. Here are the subs. Have a meatball parmesan and a sausage one. Have hamburgers here. Here are your entrees. Served with a side salad and garlic knots. Quite a few choices there. Chicken parmesan, the taste of Italy. Children's menu for $7.99. Here are the different sides. You can order some meatballs. Get three of them for $6.99. Seafood dishes served with a side salad and garlic knots. Some linguine and clam sauce, mussels. Main lobster ravioli. Fried shrimp platter. Pastas. Chicken and broccoli, homemade lasagna, spaghetti, shrimp pesto, chicken pesto. Baked tortellini and baked spaghetti and ravioli down there. There's the choices of pasta. Spaghetti, whole wheat, angel hair, penny pasta, linguine, or fettuccine. Gourmet pizzas. A few choices there. They have a meat lover's pizza. Barbecue chicken, white pizza, buffalo chicken, and Hawaiian or build your own. Calzones and baked rolls. Buffalo chicken roll, Italian sausage, stromboli, cheese, calzone, and build your own. And ask about our desserts. 
They brought out some garlic knots and take a look at that. They loaded it up with garlic and Parmesan, the house-made marinara. We're gonna stink after eating those, but who cares? Right, Bobby? I don't care. And got a couple side salads with their homemade Italian. All right, Bobby, try one of those out. Look how big those are. They gave us four nice size garlic knots. It's nice and warm. Plenty of garlic and Parmesan on there. No vampires tonight, John. <laughs> now they make their own sauce. Put a little bit there. It's a very good garlic knot. I really like the homemade sauce that they have. It's not real tangy. Maybe a little sweetness. It's very good. There's the oil on the bottom of it. Excellent garlic knot. So no vampires tonight. No. Nope. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna go without any sauce just to get that Parmesan and garlic. When you first bite into that, you get that nice crispiness of that bread on the outside, but it's so soft in the middle. That Parmesan comes through there. I don't get a real strong flavor of the garlic. So let's do this real quick. Nice sweet marinara sauce, but you know what? I almost like eating it without any sauce just to taste that garlic and Parmesan mixed together. Very good. We went with the creamy Italian, both of us did, because this is the only one they make. Let's try it. Now by itself, it has a little bit of a bite to it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on mine. Mix it up. I like the spicy Italian dressing. Or zesty, not spicy, zesty. I, th I think it's the pepper. very good but a little too zesty for me I think I might see if I can get something else even though it's a good flavor I think there's just too much pepper for me I'm gonna like it I like a lot of pepper I like a lot of zest so I'm going all in uh, the food came already we'll get to that but I like this zesty Italian dressing it does have a lot of pepper Bobby doesn't do well with all that pepper but I enjoyed it so if you guys like a zesty Italian, you're gonna love this dressing. Now John was nice enough to switch me salads because he didn't put his dressing on yet. So I just went with the ranch, much cooler. The food arrived and it looks like a lot of food. That's all I can say, first glance at it. There's the taste of Italy and Bobby got the fettuccine Alfredo and added shrimp. I don't know which meal looks the best. All I know is there's a lot. You have that, you have that salad, you have the rolls over there. We're gonna be full when we leave here today. Just look at the presentation on both of these plates. They're so pretty, aren't they? They are. And it's a huge plate. Shrimp. Look at the steam. <laughs> they don't make the noodles here, but they do make the sauce, which is a very creamy sauce with the parmesan cheese in it look at all that steam just still coming off that that is very good the shrimp was nice and tender we got about 12 pieces of shrimp on this and i see a lot of parmesan on there yes and the noodles i think are prepared just the way i like them all right guys let's just go over it manicotti here's the lasagna on top of the chicken parmesan under there. I mean, there's a lot. And spaghetti. No way I'm gonna finish that. Most of that's going home with us. All right, let's just start off with the most basic thing, the pasta. Man, I saw the steam coming out of that. They put a lot of parmesan on there too. I like a lot of parmesan. There we go, it's a pretty big bite. Hope I don't burn myself eating it. That's a very sweet sauce. Might be the same sauce that, which I'm using to dip those rolls in. Nice flavor. Like Bobby talked about the pasta being done. We don't like it hard. We like it soft and this is soft. We don't like it al dente. Yeah, whatever it's called. We don't like it that way. We like it soft, guys. 
Let's go after this lasagna on top here. Loaded with cheese. We just spin it around, you can see it better. There, look at all that in there, all those different layers. And that's some cheese. Let me just do that again. There we go. There we go. Now that's some cheese. Getting a lot of different flavors in there. First flavor that comes to mind is the ricotta cheese in there. You can really taste that, but that mozzarella cheese they're using is coming through good. You can see that ricotta in there. The noodles, again, prepared well, not hard. Taste a little bit of that meat in there. Let's get a little bit of this chicken parmesan under here with the marinara sauce. So much food in there, everything's buried. There it is, got the marinara sauce on there. Let's try it. Now that chicken is nice and tender, lightly breaded. Going well with the marinara sauce on there. That's a pretty big piece. Let me see if I can dig it out of there. It's kind of hidden. It goes on forever. You see that and it's still underneath there. Didn't skimp on that. And have some manicotti. I'm just gonna cut it from this side. You can see, I'll turn it around. You can see on the inside of it. I'll turn it around. There we go. Can you guys see all that? All that nice stuff, goodness in that. Look. It's kind of dark in here, so I hope this video turns out all right because my light has even been coming on on that. But look at that. Cotta cheese coming through on that like it did on that lasagna. The noodles, again, I've said it every time. The noodles prepared well, not hard. Definitely cooked. I mean, look at that. Look at all that. Can you see it? Look at all that in there. <laughs> I love the mozzarella cheese we're using on there. And look. So guys, this meal I think could probably be split between two people easily. That's a good choice. You're getting what four different things to try here. I like everything. I don't know which one I like the best so far. Alright, I'm going to try the lasagna. That is very good. I like the mozzarella cheese on top. It's not too much just to write them out the ricotta cheese in there really sets the flavors off but i'm just thinking about these rolls even though the sauce is really good i wish they had a container of just the garlic parmesan and a little bit of oil i've been dipping what's left in here <laughs> they're hard to put down they are you got all this other food to eat man it's hard to eat all mm -hmm. these are delicious might as well try another pasta. It'll be five different things here tonight. You guys know I like shrimp, though. I don't know which one I like the best now that I'm trying Bobby's. Can really taste the garlic in that Alfredo sauce. But that shrimp, nice and tender. I like it all, guys. I just like it all. Make one that has five of them in there. I've been eating on this chicken, and you can't even tell. That's how big it is. I think it was like half the size of the whole plate. Huge. Let's look at our receipt here at the Taste of Italy in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. There's your address. I had the Taste of Italy, $24.99. Bobby had the Fettuccine Alfredo, is $22.99. Reason it was $22.99 is because she added the shrimp for an extra $5. It was $17.99 without the shrimp. Grand total, $53.38. Well, we just left the Taste of Italy here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. What did you think about your fettuccine Alfredo? I really liked the Alfredo sauce that they made in-house. It had a nice creamy, rich flavor to it. The pasta was done just the way I liked it. It wasn't too hard or too soft. It was just, it was just right. And then they also had the shrimp, which was nice and tender. They came out with the uh, garlic rolls. Those were excellent with all the garlic and Parmesan and the oil over it. I kept dipping mine in the bottom of that pan with the oil, but they did make the marinara sauce in-house also, which was good. Now for me, I think I ordered a little too much there. I wanted to show you guys some different pastas, so I tried four of them. That's the way to go. Before I forget, I'm gonna tell you some advice from me on that. Come in here, order that for two of you, Get that extra salad. I think you gotta pay a $4 sharing fee to do that, but that is the way to go, guys. You don't need another meal with that meal. There's four pastas there. My favorite of the four was the lasagna, but they were all good. Had that nice ricotta cheese in there. Plenty of mozzarella cheese on top of that, on top of everything. 
Showed you that gigantic piece of chicken on that chicken parmesan. Everything was done well. I liked the salad with the house-made creamy Italian. Bobby couldn't eat it because it was zesty. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of maybe black pepper in it, but I liked it. Just keep that in mind. I'm glad we came here. This is better than any pasta place that we have back home. So I want to thank you guys for recommending this place. And the staff was so friendly in there, everyone, especially Shirley, who was our waitress. I also liked the pictures and the paintings that were on the wall, and they had a nice light music, not too loud. So definitely come check this place out if you want a good Italian meal. All the sauces are made here, and I think they said they also made the dough for their pizza. Next time, we'll have to come back and try that pizza out. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>